How do you describe Billy Scadlock? If Larry Flint and Hugh Hefner could somehow have a baby, <laughs> that baby would be Billy Scadlock. <laughs> Sleazy yet still somehow a gentleman. That's Billy Scadlock. I want to tell you, I came to Universal Studios, 1993 from Georgia. I didn't know anybody. I didn't know one person. I went to Universal, I was scared shitless. I walk in, and there's Billy Scadlock. I've never told this story out in, in public, never before, I've never told this story. He came up to me, and you've heard the term, taking somebody under your wing. Billy literally took me under his wing. He reached up and kind of grabbed me in the hip box. <laughs> and I'm like, man, he's a friendly guy. <laughs> and he pulls me over to the refrigerator, he jerks it open. He points down at his lunch, he said, you see that? I'm like, this is so nice, I'm picking me around like this. I said, yeah. He said, that's my stuff. <laughs> oh, that's really nice, you know? He reaches up in bed thinking, he pulls me into the bathroom. And there on the counter is like an assorted toiletries, his toothbrush, hairspray, and stuff. He said, you see that stuff? I said, yeah, it's pretty cool. That's my stuff. <laughs> I said, man, this is so nice of him to take. I mean, this he's on break. And he's showing me around the trailer. So he reaches up and grabs me into the headlock and pulls me out to the they little makeup area there, three sides, you know, everybody did a makeup. And I just love that area because it was so exciting for me. And pulls me over there and there's his little Charlie Chaplin wig and his little Charlie Chaplin hitting a mustache and <laughs> little cane and stuff. And he said, You see that? I said, Yeah. He said, That's my stuff. I was like, Billy, that is so nice of you to take this time to show me around. And I got caught up in the moment. I felt like we were bonding. I'm like, Billy, can, can you give me some advice on entertainment? And he said, no, but I can give you some advice on life. And I said, life? He said, yeah. And he said, if you want to keep on living, don't touch any of my stuff. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry. It just brings a tear to mind when I think about it. <laughs> He's been a great guy. And yes, he does love boogies. <laughs> <laughs> if there was any bad thing to say about it, it is his drug of choice, big boobies. <laughs> if there's a good side to it, as much as he is a big fan of big boobs, he is not a supporter of President Bush. <laughs> but the time that we really bonded was the time that we got to see a certain Lucy's augmented breast. <laughs> <laughs> Come on in the bathroom. She should take me in the bathroom. I didn't know Billy was in the bathroom. He's gonna hang out there a lot. He's like, <laughs> like a thing. Go to find Billy, go to the bathroom, he's in there doing his little purple thing. Anyways, I didn't realize he was in there and she pulls it up. And I was, I was astounded. And then I realized I heard something and I turned around and Billy was choking on his own slide. <laughs> I brought him back, and needless to say, we bonded because of the boobies. Hell, he's moving to Vegas. Is that not Boobie Central? <laughs> or as Billy would call it, Titty City. <laughs> but anyways, Billy, we're going to miss you. I love you, and uh, thank you guys, and thank you for uh, supporting